Hi girls, this is Zephy from I'm Zephy and I love to scrap. I want to share with you a project that I did last night. A very impromptu project and um, I made a pin cushion out of recycled things, out of things I had at home. So the final straw was when I eventually uh, succumbed to pinning uh, my pins into my eraser and I thought no, this is it, I have to now make a pin cushion. So I scrounged around and I have had three of these. I still have three of these, one without a lid now. These were party favours and um, I had two more. This one holds my little brick and brick on my dressing table. So what I did is I removed the lid. So look out for the lid in another project. I thought it will make a lovely cover on a mini album or something. And then I didn't have batting. The best thing for pin cushions are, uh, as a stuffing is either uh, wood shavings or batting. And I had neither of the two, so I went down to my storeroom and I had um, some sponge that was from some packaging. So what I did is I cut um, three squares, a little bit bigger than the bottom of the little container. I first cut a piece of pattern paper and put it in the bottom and then I cut this, um, three little pieces of foam so that the foam was sitting quite high above the box. In fact the foam was sitting about the same height as the box before I started. Then I had a pair of old track pants that was uh, due to get thrown away so I kept it for um, velvet roses for winter for us Christmas layouts and I covered the sponge very carefully I will do a tutorial if you would like me to at a later stage just let me know and then um, once I'd covered the sponge the foam with the velvet I had already put the little pin into it so that it can be slightly concaved I don't know if you can see it and then I went to look at my laces so that I could find a trim for around the sides and I came across this is um, this embroidery on here I don't know if you can really see it is actually um, lace embroidered onto tulle so I pulled the sponge all out again I hadn't glued it in yet I undid the pearl and I um, put the tulle over the velvet so that we can have this effect and then I re-sewed in my pearl. The pearl goes right in to the bottom of the wad and up, up again. So you start from the bottom, you come up, you put your pearl in and you put your needle back in and pull it tight so that it can have this little dent here. So I did that and then I glued some sequins around the sides. Can you see? Then I never had the correct flowers so I I tucked into my Tattered Mist uh, Tattered Angels box where I have all my scraps and I quickly made one, two, three and round here is the fourth rose which I just touched up then with a few, uh, a few dabs of Twinkling H2O's. So there we go. I thought I'd just share that with you and if you should be interested I can make your tutorial because I have one more box left. Don't you just love that stick pin with the two buttons in it? You put it down. See, you put two buttons in it and um, once you offset the buttons so that they sit like this. Okay, and then this is my other favorite one. This one here that looks like a, that looks like a, a flower. I chose the colours that were on the lace so that this can match. This is purely ornamental until it finds the perfect layout, but for now it's for here. Okay ladies, um, thanks for sharing with me, at least um, thanks for letting me share my project with you. And should you be interested in seeing how I did this, let me know and um, I will make one more. I'm dying to make one more. Have a good day, I'm off to have a nice swim. And we'll talk again. Bye.